Hello, my name is Paul Miners. Welcome to another one of my Asana training videos. In this video, I want to discuss Asana's pricing and talk you through some of the different subscription levels and ask the question, you know, is this worth it? If you have any questions about Asana's pricing, because I know it's not the easiest to understand, then please leave me a comment below. And if you would like help setting up your Asana account, learning how to take advantage of this tool and onboarding your team so that everyone uses it properly, then check out the link in the description below to learn more about my Asana consulting options. Now, when you first sign up to Asana, you'll notice you can actually use the free version of Asana with up to 15 members in your organization. And in my opinion, the free version of Asana is actually pretty good. I think you get a lot of value from Asana just in the free version, because Asana is a tool that's meant to help you identify the work that you're doing, who's doing what, and when it's due. And you can do all of that on the free version. There are no limits, like I've seen with other project management tools. You can have as many projects and tasks as you like, so you're not gonna get forced to upgrade later. But you can upgrade if you want to unlock more powerful features. Now, when it comes to upgrading, the first thing that may play a factor is whether you've set up your account as an organization or a workspace. And it depends on how you signed up to Asana. If you signed up to Asana with a Gmail or a Hotmail or some kind of a personal email address like that, chances are your account is probably set up as a workspace, which is more used for personal Asana usage and personal projects and things. But if you signed up to Asana with a domain, like my domain, paulminers.com, if you used your company domain when signing up, then you will have an organization. The difference between an organization and a workspace is that with an organization, you can set up multiple teams. You'll see your teams here on the sidebar, and teams are typically used to organize and group users into different teams or departments. So for example, we have development, marketing, customer support, operations, and so on. And so each team contains a group of users and a collection of projects. And so if your account is set up as an organization, chances are it probably is if you've signed up with that custom domain, if you're running a business, and you've got the option to set up multiple teams, then one of the first things you can decide on is whether to upgrade just one of your teams or you can upgrade your entire organization and it really depends on how much access and the features you want to give to your team and who needs access to what so for example let's say you're using Asana quite heavily in your marketing team but maybe development they're not really using it maybe they use a different tool like Jira for example you could then choose to only upgrade the marketing team you could give the marketing team access to premium or business features and you're only paying for the users in that team and then other teams in your account can stay on the free version if you want but it will quickly get to the point where if you have users in your account that sit in multiple teams and you want to upgrade multiple teams it will start to make more financial sense to just upgrade your entire organization that way every user every team in the account will have access to either the premium or the business features depending on the plan that you pick in terms of the different subscription levels as i mentioned already you have the basic version, which you can use for teams of up to 15 people. And as I mentioned before, you can get unlimited tasks, unlimited projects, messages. You get a lot of value out of Asana just on the free version. You can use different project views, the calendar view, you get overviews and so on. So the free version is a great way of just kind of dipping your toes in the water and seeing, is this tool right for me? Is my team gonna use it? Now, users who are serious about Asana that really want to take it to that next level, and this is the case with a lot of the clients that we work with, is they will be on at least the premium version. So premium starts at $10.99, that's per user, per month, if you pay annually. If you pay monthly, it's actually gonna be $13.49 per month, per user. So there is that saving if you decide to pay upfront for the year. Now, the main features that I think are really useful in the premium subscription include the timeline. This allows you to create project timelines or Gantt charts that show when different tasks start and finish. We've got down here milestones, which you can then again see on the timeline. You can see the, the major milestones or phases of a project and when they're going to be completed. Workflow builder custom fields, forms, rules. These features allow you to really start to automate your workflow and put in custom information into your tasks for things like time tracking or tracking expenses and, and, and different uh, f um, task values. Rules allow you to automate the flow of tasks and assigning them automatically to different people. 
And another really key feature in the premium is you get the option to create task and it's not shown here, but project templates as well. This is a massive feature. If you wanna be able to set up new projects or new tasks really quickly with an SOP, a standard operating procedure with all the steps you need to follow, then task templates, project templates really is a game changer that will save you a lot of time. If you're a small to medium sized business and you're still fairly new to Asana, I recommend the premium. I think you get a lot of value in the premium that really lifts your Asana game to that next level. Now, bigger businesses, or if, if you want to, again, unlock even more advanced project management features, but again, especially for bigger businesses that are managing lots of projects, may want to consider the business version. The business subscription starts at $24.99 per user per month if billed annually. So you do save up front again for paying for the year, or it gets up to $30.49 per month if you pay monthly. Now the major features in the business subscription that I think are worth pointing out, number one is portfolios. Portfolios allow you to create a dashboard that shows you the status of multiple projects. You can see if the project is overdue, the percentage completion, things like that. You also get to use the workload management features, which allows you to track the capacity of your team and see who's got capacity to take on more work. Goals is also a really cool feature for businesses. If you want to plan your goals and start to track KPIs, key performance indicators in Asana, that's a really useful one. And the other major one I would point out here is the custom rules builder. In the premium, you do get access to some more basic rules. With the custom rules builder, you have complete control to create rules uh, with your own triggers and custom actions. So that's a really nice one. So that's a look at the different subscription options. But is Asana worth it? Well, I really think it depends on the individual or the organization that's using it. Firstly, like I said in the beginning, the free version provides you with a lot of value. So if you're just an individual kind of planning your own tasks, you may find that the free version gives you everything you need and you don't need all of the bells and whistles and powerful features of premium and business. And in that case, I mean, it's free. You can do a lot with it. There's no limits. So I think, yeah, it's great value. If you are looking at one of the paid subscription options, firstly, Asana is not the cheapest project management tool out there. You will definitely be able to find cheaper options available. But I do think Asana provides great value for the power and functionality that it offers. It's also a very uh, reputable company. It's been around for a while. They have a really good track record. So I think you can, you can pay for Asana with confidence that, yep, this is a company that's putting a good deal of resource into product development and support. From there, the value you get from a tool like Asana really depends on how well you and your team are using it. If you're considering one of the paid subscriptions, you really then want to start focusing on team adoption and making sure the team is using Asana correctly and consistently. You really don't want to be paying for a tool that they, they don't like or they're not using properly. So if you're a sort of small to medium sized business that, that needs fa something fairly simple to kind of manage your work, I, again, I think the premium provides you with a lot of power and functionality with things like templates uh, for the price that you pay. Um, and, and especially if, you know, adoption's not super high, if you're still using a few other tools to manage your work, you might find the premium level is the right option for you. When you find Asana has been successfully adopted in the team, we're all using it consistently and really well on a daily basis, and we'd like to unlock some of those more advanced features, then I think you can get a lot of value out of that business subscription, and it will be worth it. But again, it depends on your team using it properly and consistently on a daily basis. So if you would like help with getting your team to use Asana successfully, as I mentioned, click the link in the description below to learn more about my Asana consulting options. Again, if you have any questions about Asana's pricing or anything I've mentioned here, please leave me a comment below. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.